Hey everyone, Merrick here. We're back in the wonderful world of Spellweaver, and it's time to play a fan deck. At least that's what I'm calling it. Uh, Dizello mentioned that he wanted me to play a Decay the Enemy deck. It's a mill deck that he uses. I put this together, substituted a couple cards, and decided that I suck at milling. I've played several quick battles against AI and a couple of people and have lost all but one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to quick battle, play against the AI, and show you what I'm doing, and hopefully, Dizello, you especially, can help me figure out why I suck so bad with this deck. Okay, so we'll keep that. We'll go ahead and get Dequisitive Spirit out um, early. And then um, keep going. Man and a card. We'll put that out again and swing for one. So I need to get um, a corruption level up. So I'm going to actually toss back a library guards and get nothing. Great. I gambled and lost. So I'm going to block with one of my disquisitive spirits and draw a card. And only give her one mana. Ooh, that's what I needed. Okay, so we're going to up our corruption level. And each hero decays five cards, draw a card. Uh, we're going to save that for next round. I'm going to put out a Mesmerizing Spirit this time so that I can kill off her Sunblessed Priestess. And that's going to go back in there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to kill that off and then we'll have her decay some cards. Um, okay, so we're going to go Mana. Alright, we're going to have her decay five cards, draw a card. Alright, so I got another Flash of Delirium. We will kill that off, allowing her only one extra mana, or not. Damn it! That Pacify is annoying. Okay, so now we have no board control, and we're going to take two damage, and she's going to get two life. Hmm. Okay, so now we're going to... Mana and a card. Um, let's see. I'm not going to do Flash of Delirium just yet. I think Dijin Battle Master. Oh shit, I should have put the Vultures out. Okay, well, Battle Master it is. Um, can't block that. Gonna take it. Now, um, we're going to Infernal Vultures, have her DK a bunch of cards, and then we'll spend our remaining mana, um, boosting this guy up and putting some of my creatures back in my deck. So we'll do that. We'll put the Nightbringer back in the deck. Okay, so now he's up to a 3-3. We're going to kill off the Moon Priestess, taking only half the damage that we would take, round it down. And there we go. So we're going to take two more damage. But we've stopped the life gain on, on our friend over there. Okay, um... 33 cards... Let us put some more our last creature back in the deck, making that a 4-4. And then got three left. I say we bring out um a library guards. Ooh, that's a good get. That is a very good get. Okay, so we're going to swing for six. And library guards can tamp down that attack that we're getting from there. And we will get her down to 17. And she has 33 cards. So we can start playing with Dreadful Nightmares next. Alright, so all those come out. That kind of sucks. Um, we will. We will put that back in your deck. But I get a bunch of mana. Or a bunch of uh, 
Go Juice. That's what I'm going to call it. Go Juice. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of options here, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to toss the Mesmerizing Spirit back in the deck, get a bit more mana. I would love to have another black or another corruption level so I can make him sacrifice some creatures, but what I can do is peel away a bunch of her cards. So I can do Flash into Delirium. Okay. Could put out another Dejim Battle Master, which would be nice. But I think what I'm gonna do before then is use Dreadful Nightmares. Have her pay that amount. Put that card on top of the hero's deck. Put a card on the bottom of the hero's deck. The rest of those go away. Okay, so now she has 25 cards. Alright. Um. So. I say you attack her. You sacrifice yourself there. And you attack there and see what we can draw out. Okay, that's fine. You'll die. You'll die. And we will have more powerful creatures. Alright. So that kind of sucks. Um, but we can handle that. So what I'm going to do now is try to get either the ability to make them sacrifice. Or... Um, toss one of those. Yeah, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have her... Sacrifice two creatures. Alright. And then... That was all of my mana. But, if I survive, what I can do is I can bring up Lightning Storm and deal damage to all these creatures. Okay, so... We will have you attack that, and we'll save the Dijin Battlemaster for some defense. That's fine, it will die. Um, yeah, actually, hold on. Let's do this. Bring the Library Guards back. And make it even stronger. Fantastic. Okay, yep, I'm, I'm fine with that. So I'll take, I'll get down to four. Up to nineteen. Um, getting worried. I'm going to put back one disquisitive spirit. Ah, there we go. So we got a wisdom level. Now all of these will be shocked and damaged. For four. Which means they will be very easily taken out by me. So you can kill that. We'll sacrifice you to take that out. Oh no, we didn't sacrifice you. I forgot. Rounded down so he didn't take all the damage. And now we have the board back. Okay. That's fine. Um, we're going to take away your last card in your hand. We'll bring out another battle master. And bring back the Nightbringer. I wish I had a Nightbringer in my hand, though. That would be really nice. So we'll have you attack that and see if we can't pull out the sacrifice. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything on the board right now. I should have brought the Disquisitive Spirit back in order to block that. So we're going to take some damage, I think. Hmm. That's rough. Okay, so we can mana in a card. We can library guards. We can... Um, 
Disquisitive spirit. I don't want noxious fumes yet, and I don't want to use all of these up, so I'm going to use one mana to get my last creature back in the deck. I'm going to see if I can't bait this out with two damage or two attack. See if I can't get her to burn that. Nope. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That's fine too. She's going to attack with that. You're going to block. Okay. I can't Noxious Fumes. Damn, I was hoping I could Noxious Fumes it and then... Um... Survive, but uh, that didn't that didn't work out. But that's okay because now I can just kill that off, and it's not a threat anymore. Then I can do that, and you can take care of him, and you can take care of her, and then um, we will put back in your deck the relic card, and you can attack there. Okay. okay, so now you're down to four, and I am down to one. We'll bring out one mana, um, we'll beef him up to eleven, and bring you that guy. Okay, so you had nothing, and you're going to continue to have nothing, and we brought her down to... 20 cards. That's okay for not having my ability to strip away um, her cards with the Nightbringers. But we will go ahead and finish this just like that. Alright! So I actually won one! Fantastic! This is a great time to win one. So we're gonna go one more this way, and then I'm going to switch back to my dairy, other Darius deck and play a pickup game with that. And we'll see where we can go from there. So we'll, we'll keep that because it has a lot of mana and um, gives us the ability to, to get some things up fairly quickly. So let's um, gain some mana, bring up Disquisitive Spirit. Hmm. Nefaros always kills me. He rushes out these attacks very quickly. And I don't think I have a good strategy for beating him. So we're going to up our corruption level. And bring out Mesmerizing Spirit. And um, we're going to attack for for one. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to sacrifice her and... No, we're not. We're not going to sacrifice her at all. I had a thought. Alright, so now you're tired. Right? So we can mana card we can Noxious Fumes and kill that guy, we'll bring that guy down to one, sacrifice her, er, these two, and yeah, I probably actually should have killed the uh, Zombie Legionnaire though. Um, we will Flash of Delirium. Pull some more cards off this deck. And that's it. Uh, discard two cards. Um, I'll discard... I don't really want to discard anything, so we'll discard these two. I didn't really want to, but eh, it is what it is. Okay, so we'll do that. And then um, we'll up our mana. I really need to get our level up so that I can use Lightning Storm as soon as possible. We're going to Library Guards and we'll save Noxious Fumes.
Oh my. Uh Well that sucks. I haven't seen that one playing against him, but um, okay. So we're going to mana and card. And then I say we bring out the lightning elemental and exhaust him. And we Disquisitive Spirit and kill that. I have no idea what we're going to do with this guy. Hopefully we can get a sacrifice play going on. Yeah. That was a really good round for him. Alright, shocked creatures don't ready up, so we will more than likely wind up doing that. Up our wisdom level. We're going to shock him. So that would make him a three. We can't kill him. We can bring out the Nightbringer, though, and start peeling away his cards a little faster. And that's all we can do. Or not, because of that bullshit. Um, we're gonna toss that. Fuck you. Come on, Nefaros. Damn it. Alright, well then, there you go. We are hoosed. Got no options. There's no point in playing that. He didn't have any cards in his deck. Ah. So, there you go. See what I mean? Every time I lose against Nefaros. Uh, I mean, we can bring out the Nightbringer, and that's that's all well and good, but it doesn't do us a lot of good. Um, we'll just attack. So yeah, it's clear that I don't know what I'm doing with this deck, and I'm just I'm not playing it in the right order or or something. Okay. Well. I'm not going out like that, so you don't get to hit me with 10, you get to hit me with 6. You jerk. You're a big jerk face, Nefaros. I want you to know that. Alright, let's switch to a deck that I know how to play with some level of competence. Our um, control deck. And go back into battle and find somebody. Okay, it looks like we have somebody, and it's Alexa the AI! Well, it is Sunday night at 9.30 p.m., so I imagine that people are not playing this game. We will draw again, because that was a bunk hand. And we will start off with an early corruption and zombie legionnaire. And we are going to mana and skill all over that. And continue on. All right. That is anticipated. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to up our corruption level, bring out that, so that we can start building up some zombies. Because we are not getting the cards we need. So we're going to take 4 damage on the face. Yeah, I use the face-to-foot tactics for winning games. Alright, so we're going to mana and card. We are not getting the cards we really need to make this any kind of a competition. We're going to do that, and we're going to toss back the Airship Explorer and hope for a, not that. I mean, it's okay that we got that, but I'd rather have a blue card so I can do a New Horizons run, but that's okay. Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to block that one. Actually, we're going to block that one. Give her only three health. And get a zombie. So I'll have two zombies. Okay, um, we are going to actually toss back that corruption shrine. Thank you, it is about time. We will bring up the wisdom shrine here. Ooh, tempting to make them sacrifice. We're actually going to library guards. And, oh, I forgot to switch out Lamp of Zaphir. 
Mmm, that hurts. That hurts, that hurts, that hurts. But that's okay. We can deal with it. Alright, we are not going to attack. We're going to see what they do, and they are just owning the board. Okay. Um. Yeah. We want to save that one, specifically. And it looks like we are not getting any kind of breaks here. No breaks at all. Okay, um, I think we haunted cemetery and force them to give me a zombie. Then um if I try to go for that with the library guards, the griffin the griffin rider will attack. And I have nothing else to respond with that. Um, we're actually going to... We're going to toss Lamp of Zaphir and swing for mana. An extra mana. I didn't want to toss Lamp of Zaphir, but I don't have an answer to any of this anyway, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. Alright, so we're going to lose some more, and he's going to gain some more. Um, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Uh, it looks like we're not getting any help here, so we're going to um, go for a shrine. Didn't get the shrine that we needed. We are... Going to go for a kill on that guy. Um, I guess we'll splitting headaches and then do that. And this is pretty much going to wrap it up. Yep, kind of expected that. Uh, no, that doesn't help me at all. Okay, so there we go. That's great. That's two, four, six, eight. All right, so that's the end of that one. We will definitely try this again. So we're not we're not gonna end it on that one because that was a bunch of bullshit. <sighs> yeah, I know. I lose. All right, we're gonna go against the AI. I don't think I'm gonna pick up anybody, so we're just gonna go ahead and roll right into another AI deck. We'll keep that. Um, that's fine. We will Wisdom, we will Sacrifice, we will get a Corruption, and that was our first turn. So we're already up really high on our first turn, which is where I like to be. Um, we are going to Wisdom. We're actually going to New Horizons again, and bring in another Corruption Shrine. And the next time, we're going to get some serious board dominance going on. So we can Mana and Card, Restless Tombs, and Zombie Legionnaire. Alright, so we got to face some Swift Goblins. We're going to take 4 damage to the face. Kind of sounding familiar, isn't it? Okay. Now the gain of skill. Enemy hero has to sacrifice. We will force him to sacrifice. And Splitting Headaches. And swing for two. There we go. Maybe we'll end on a slightly higher note than we did last time. No promises, though. No promises. You know a card that would be really good in this deck would be the, the Grasping Hands card, where you force um, their speed down? Because we have a lot of low-speed creatures starting out, and... Um, we're getting our ass kicked because we can't really answer those kinds of attacks. Okay, so we're going to do Infected Survivor. We're going to Noxious Fumes, um, that guy. We're going to Obelisk of Unity. And that is going to be almost it. We'll swing for four. And then we'll be able to block one of those guys. Okay. Well, guess who's going to die? 
as quickly as possible. You guessed it. Uh, we will mana a card. We will definitely play Library Guardians. And we're going to actually search the deck. Ooh, Blood Witch Harpy. That's a good one to get. Guess who's coming out to play? Ooh, the rain, apparently. Alright, so we will swing for six. Oh, we're going to kill off both these guys. I like that exchange. That is incredibly favorable for me. Gives up his board control. Yeah. That's fine. I don't care about that. Um, we will bring out the Blood Witch Harpy. And mana and a card. You're going to lose all your cards in your hand. We'll do that, and we will swing for eight. See, this is the way this is supposed to be played. Still, I think Grasping Hands would be a good addition to this deck. Um, we'll sacrifice the guy that's tired. Uh, guess we could do that. We could do this. Still kill that. We don't gain any energy, and we'll kill you with the Blood Witch Harpy. All right, there we go. So we're gonna end on a slightly higher note, which I like to. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, any kind of advice on how I could have won any of the matches I lost, or how I can play that mill deck better, or any kind of card substitutions you might recommend, throw that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to learn from you. If you uh, enjoyed what you saw and you haven't subscribed, click that good old subscribe button and YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you awesome people next time. What do you guys think? Do you think I should lamp a Zafir? I think I should lamp a Zafir. Okay, so he can get up to 5 energy. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it, though. He can knock my speed.